This is the first time in 50 years that three black brothers on the team have got them to the situation they're in today. And now they're berating them. They're well, insulting them. It came down to a shootout, Italy. Um, there, were, there was, uh, I believe... I, b- I believe it came down to a shootout between the 19-year-old Saka. He's a he's a good leader uh, for the team, and he shot and he missed the goal, which ended up uh, with England losing the game. Okay. Um, and Italy winning. After he did that, after he missed that shot, there was a hefty, hefty, hefty amount of racism that came down on his head. Not only him, but all the black players of the team. Marcus Rashford. There was a mural made for him, I believe, in Manchester for all the work that he's done with child welfare and giving back to the community and yes. like uh, impoverished groups. And someone wrote a Slur. So with everything going on in London, this <laughs> black player's Marcus Rashford, his mural, he got the face in, in London. Now everyone's getting it's it's uh, a very a racial stop stop, 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 stop. On Instagram and on Twitter, a lot of racial slurs. You saw the monkeys, you saw the yes, bananas. But now England, there there is a there is a Cuomo. lot of there is a <laughs> oh my <laughs> there's a lot of racism against Wait, black people in general in London. Just just in general. Yes. Also at that game, at that final. There were about five thousand people that just stormed the uh, stadium. the the ticket uh, uh, The ticket reader stopped working, and people just went into the stadium, whether they were tailgating and they were illegally there. And after they left, there was multiple fights. There was a lot of violence that was committed. Some against black people. It's just a racist, racist, racist country. Mm. So I think we need to. I think we need to reset everything. With the camera. No, just saying the world. Then we need to reset. Oh, oh. can't really reset. It's just too, like it's too, we're too far gone. Too far, uh, what that, do you mean? that sounds we're like Kanye's far. new album. That, that could be his like too far gone. Yeah, well, too far so, gone. Yeah, it sounds like a, a new Spider-Man movie. Oh far yeah, from too home, far too gone. Far gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Sp- so, yeah, uh, Miles Morales. Miles, we're uh, too I far say, gone. I say we're too far gone because uh, resetting the whole world would be great. Um, it would be great. Mm-hmm. Um, or we could just create equilibrium within every country. Is a, it sounds a little far fetched. It sounds like a like a imaginary uh, because it's not. It just can't happen. You have. First off, you have people in Africa that are so, like, the technology is far less. In some some countries, I should say. In some countries. Because some countries are just like here. But Africa, Europe, Asia. Yep. Uh, you just have, it's, it's just, the technology is so far, the level is off from here. Like we said, we have Cuba now. We, we, can't, we can't even ship out vaccines to everywhere. I'm not saying it's America's job to ship out vaccines everywhere. But I'm saying everywhere in general. We're on two different, you think they're going to even... I'm going to say probably even in two to three years, they're not even going to be close to us because they, they produce their own vaccines, which doesn't come out as far. We mass produce stuff, and then a year later, we're almost done. You know, we're almost done with our yeah. – You know what I mean? And, well, even though people don't want to take it, we're still – seventy percent of the people, 73% of the people in New York uh, have got the vaccine. I don't know the whole nation, but I'm just saying in this state alone, even though people don't want to take it, we're already at 73%. Mm-hmm. So how long is it going to take for a place like Cuba or a place like Haiti that they mass produce their own stuff to get to where we are? Yeah. Yeah, we are very far ahead in the world. So somehow Russia can still invade our elections. So, <laughs> uh, so, so there you go. Too. But it, the one thing is, it, I just can't believe how racist a country can get over a sport. It's, yeah. like, it's like everyone's getting everyone's getting bad about this sport. Hey, Britain, how about you focus on Brexit? No, how about you focus All right? on your teeth? How about you focus on your teeth? Get some Colgate <laughs> and get up in there. Don't use none of these handheld brushes. I need a motor and get up in them gums, son. You, should, you shouldn't be writing racial slurs against black people. You should be writing slurs against dentists. Because believe that chamomile and those the dentist staining your teeth. What's it should be against the dentist. Yes, it's against the dentist. But it's like at a certain point, at a certain point, you just got to ask yourself, these are grown men. Yeah. These are grown men. Co- these guys are 19 years old, 20 years old, th- these black players. These are grown men coming down on these kids. It's like to a certain point, how about you train all your life? And if you don't, if you don't want him to miss the goal, how about you training? Yeah, you do it. My favorite are the fans that like. I'm gonna say baseball that are watching at the bar, and they're like, "What kind of swing is that? Come on, got way back on it." All right. And the guy's belly pounds. is is the guy's belly is protruding from his gut. Listen, man, you can barely afford uh, a drink. I gotta give you one half off. Yeah. You're gonna yell at a guy that makes a million dollars by swinging the bat. These guys are yelling at the U.S. women's team, and they're shaped like the letter D. Like, God, you you probably have a heart attack if you try to run like Megan Rapino, who these, has a beautiful smile. By these the way. are the same people. People that, that are mad about the runners smoking weed while they're smoking weed. Exactly. How could you smoke weed? The hypocrisy, Idiot. the hypocrisy is crazy, but this racism has got to stop. It's like you're showing your cards. It's very funny. They stormed the, they stormed the, the stadium. They had racial slurs. And the only team that I would expect that out of out of the fan base is the Patriots. So you got Englanders <laughs> acting like the Patriots. What's going on?